Um, I believe that um, she relied too much on mainstream media, traditional media, to give interviews to to places in places that don't move the needle. Um, that you know, it's only older people who are all, already on her side and going to go out and vote for her anyway. She should have been in spaces like mine and others uh, in, in um, streaming spaces, um, doing podcasters and influencers and streamers. Because as it turns out, if you look at the demographic and the folks who really, I think, made the difference for Donald Trump, of course, it was white women and white men. We know that. They voted for the, him more than anybody else. But he did get young people and he got some of these college age young white guys to get off the couch and young men of uh, and men of all different stripes to get off the couch because that's where they're getting their information not news from in uh, uh those uh, those streaming spaces so it should have been on brian tyler cohen it should have she should have been on david packman she should have been on the young church she should have been on the don lemon show she should have been on all of those shows and she should not have treated um social media and streaming media as if it's some niche she also should have not treated black media the same way she should have been going on joy reed's show just pop in do a boner she should have been popping in onto uh tamron hall's show she should have been supporting black media who has supported her and i'm not i don't know if that's her or if it's her campaign but i think her campaign could have done that i also think if you'll let me go just a little bit longer. Sure, please. They ran her as if she was a white woman trying to appeal to black voters. When she was a black woman who knew about the black community, who has a relationship with the black community, who, who attended a, beast, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, a, a black college, um, an HBCU, and uh, sh they should have run her with that knowledge and let her be her because of that short truncated runway that she had the 114 days or whatever it was they should have just take the should have taken the brakes off and hit the accelerator and all the rules that apply to all this about black women and that i don't see that she should have gone when someone asked her a question she would say please if you're going to ask me that question you should be asking donald trump that question about why he says this about this person and this about that person she should have gone her campaign meeting, I'm not necessarily blaming her because she had to rely on her advisors. They should have gone pedal to the metal and not treated her as if she was Hillary Clinton running to appeal to black folks. Do you understand what I'm saying? I totally understand what you're saying. I completely agree with you. And you're one of the few people speaking out on that. And it didn't even occur to me. And you're 100% you're correct. She really struggled with young voters, right? And yeah. And there are not, let's be honest, there are not a lot of young people that are watching The View. There are not a lot of young people that are listening to, you know, the shows that she went on. You are so right on that. And you're also and right. Yeah. And The View was one of the questions on The View by someone who is very friendly towards her was, I think, pivotal in the campaign. And that was from Sonny Hostin, who's a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. Sonny said, what would you do? Is there anything that you would do different than Joe Biden? And she said, nothing comes to mind. And that was, yeah. I think, an issue for people who were undecided about her. Really, really bad answer uh, that yeah. she gave there. I completely agree with you. Don, before I let you go, because I know 